I wanted to talk with you first before our sermon time about an announcement that Lori and I have. Many of you will have received a, a letter from the church and from me uh, by this time. Uh, some of you, the letter might still be coming in the mail, so if this is the first time you hear this, uh, um, I apologize for having to do this in a remote way, but uh, Lori and I are entering a new chapter of our lives, and for a number of reasons kind of indicated here on, on this letter and in your bulletin, uh, a number of reasons of seeing our way through end-of-life issues with, uh, with our parents as well as grandchildren coming into our lives and uh, turning 63 just a little over a month ago. Uh, we are going to be finishing out uh, the ministry here, my position at Senior Pastor, around the same time that Lori finishes out her duties as a school teacher. So the first Sunday of June will be my last Sunday as your Senior Pastor. Now, that may bring up a number of questions for folks. And we have time to talk about those. And by the way, anyone in the room or on the screen that has any questions for me, my door is always open. Feel free to contact me at any time. But some of the questions that I think might be kind of bouncing around for some of you. One of them is, is something wrong? Simple answer is no. No, not at all. This is, a, this is an opportunity that has come to us that, uh, that, that is a, a great privileged opportunity, just as it's been a privilege to serve alongside of you folks here at CABC. And it's been a tough decision for us. Um, I have served in this position for, uh, it'll be about 13 and a half, nearly 14 years uh, by the time of this summer when I finish up. But we have been around, Lori and I and our family have been around CABC for some 25 years. And it really has become and served as our church home. The other thing that I wanted to make sure you knew about nothing wrong here is we are in a, a very good place at CABC with a staff and leadership team. You've heard us talk about DES, or maybe you've seen them on the calendar. DES meetings, you know, from time to time throughout the course of a year. Deacons, elders, and staff. And out of those meetings, we have been able to review and discuss and even debate some of the questions of, of what, are, what are really some of the core values that we hold near and dear, and where do we want to go next, and how do we want to address, and those items and actually that's where the no love and serve came from it kind of bubbled up out of those discussions at that leadership level we're at a good place because that leadership team continues to work together not gathering together with a bunch of individual agendas but rather surrendering individual to what do we believe as a whole, as a team, as a body, God is calling us to do? Well, another question that may come to mind for some of you is, okay, well, if you're going to stop preaching at the beginning of June, does that mean you're going to be out on the sidewalk greeting us this fall or this summer or whatever? And the simple answer to that is no, no, I won't be around. Um, there'll be a time period where I simply, Lori and I, will give some space and all those kinds of things. We may see you at the grocery store and we will certainly have enjoyable conversations. But one thing we won't talk about is church business. I will simply be removed from that and I will continue to be friend and praying for this wonderful body. But I won't be in a position of leadership in this body. Well, one final thought that you may be questioned, you may be kind of kicking around is, well, what happens next? And please know that the leadership team has the bylaws that speak directly to what happens next in the course of a change of senior pastoral leadership. So all of those things in time will be followed through on and you'll be hearing much more about them. 
I appreciate your prayers for Lori and I as we walk into this transition. And please know that I will be praying for you folks, for what God has for his leadership of this body. A reminder that the one who is in charge around here is still in charge. He's always been in charge. He's the head of the body. And he has promised that no pandemic, no staff change, no snowstorm, not even the gates of hell will be able to keep him from doing his job in building his church. We are his people and he will continue to lead. And that gives me great hope for the ministry of CABC.